going to be sharing a book called Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? This is a book by one of my favorite authors, Eric Carle. And I am actually going to start off reading by making a text to text, or I should say book to book connection between Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? and Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Both of these books were written by Eric Carl, and they follow a similar pattern. If you uh, remember or are familiar with Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I think you will notice some similarities. This book is special because it focuses on endangered species. That means that the animals in this book, there are very few of them left on this earth. The reason why there are very few of them left is because people, humans, have invaded their environment, destroyed their homes, their forests, their places of living, and so these animals do not live the same way as they should. It should be a safer environment for these animals. So we want to celebrate, or I want to celebrate these animals with you because I think they're very precious and I think that it's really important to notice when animals are not being treated right. So this book is called Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? Here, I'm going to read the, the dedication in this book. It's really special. A note to endangered species. We are losing our animals. More than 5,000 animal species are endangered or threatened worldwide. This means that they are in danger of disappearing forever. To safeguard these animals, to keep these animals safe, there are over 3,500 protected areas in the form of parks, wildlife refuges, and other reserves around the world. This book features 10 of these endangered or threatened species. We can all help save them by spreading the word about conservation. So conservation is about making sure that we're protecting the habitats or the homes of these animals, the places where they live. Instead of building an apartment building on top of a forest, or instead of tearing down all of the trees in order to pump oil or build a different building or do something else with the land, why not let these animals keep their homes? Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring past me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging past. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging past me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green turtle swimming past. Green turtle, green turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin strutting past me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I guess his name is a macaroni penguin because he has 
hair going on his head. I see a sea lion splashing past me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking past me. Deep silence. Sea lion, sea lion. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane flying past. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strolling by me. Strolling. How do you stroll? Sort of like a slow walk. A stroll. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. A dreaming child. Hmm. Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see. What do you think the dreaming child sees? I see a panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a, bla a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this book as well. If you would like to do a writer's workshop about the animals that you see in your world, whether they're endangered or not, it's important to recognize the beauty of the creatures that live in this world. Thank you for celebrating Earth Day with me. I appreciate it. And I think that if we send out our love to the Earth, the Earth appreciates it as well. All right, my friends, thank you very much for participating and see you again soon. Bye for now.